Hi folks, hello all woodworking UK. Um, Gareth Tunks uh, persuaded me to do a quick little Christmas sign for the uh, competition that's going on. I completely forgot, it's been a bit busy. So I thought I would do a quick video and show you all uh, start to finish. Alright, so first, piece of pine, 8 inches wide. It's my image. I'm going to use some uh, cellulose thinners. Just dampen a rag. Wipe it on, you'll be see. what I'm going to carve. Yeah, it's a bit cheeky, I know. Alright, I'll give that a minute and then I will remove the paper and show you what we got. Alright, I've given that about two minutes just to sit there uh, with the liquid on it. Now, if you remove this before you rub it, as you can see, you'll get uh, an outline, but not a very good one. So you need to break out the trusty spoon and give it a rub. And that will help transfer the image. But if you do this too quick, that's why I say you have to give it at least two minutes, all you'll end up doing is smudging the images. Alright, so I'll give that a rub and i move that much better. Looking good. Alright, that's uh, something I card. You notice a bit of the H is not there. It's because I had it taped on so the chemical didn't get on it, so I'll draw that back in with pencil. Alright, so to carve this, I'm going to use my little Dewalt D262. Uh, I'm going to use a spiral, 1 8 spiral upcut bit to do the majority of this. I think I'm going to do the Happy Christmas inset and I'll do the logo outset uh, and inset. Uh, we'll see how we go. All right, side note, I got my little base here. This was made for one of the uh, uh, Woodworking UK's members, uh, by one of the Woodworking UK's members, uh, Dave Bronson. Made it for me. It's a bit oversized than what you'd normally see. It is uh, 12 inches by 9 inches and it's a centimeter thick. And That's just so I, when I do my bigger signs, I've got a better place to play with. Letter number one. I'll repeat that, ooh, I don't know, 20 odd times and come back.
All right, that's all those letters done in set. This may be a 20 minute routing job, but what I'm going to look at that is this one now. I'm going to mix of this of inset and outset. So I imagine I'm going to do the outline, inset, outset, inset, outset, yada yada yada, so on and so forth. Letters are going to be inset, outset, inset, outset, inset. So the final tooth will be um, inset. All right. So I backed off the tip to about two millimeters, and I'm going to come and start with the uh, woodworking and see how we go. See if this bit is too big, or if we'll work. Okay, real th quick thing I want to touch on. Now this is pine. It uh, can pop out quite easily. You see all those little points. They, if you go the wrong way, you're just going to pop them out. So with the W, I'll always start oh, going towards the tip. So I'll start from here, and I'll come that way. And I'll never come back that way towards that tip. If I do that, tip will just fly out. So I'll do that one, come back here, and I'll do that. Do that one, and come back here and do that, and so on and so forth. Okay, last and final bit. The UK. So that center bit is going to be inset. I'll try to leave that barrier there. We will see how this is going to work because these lines are very small. So I'm going to have to uh, adjust that just a tad. Okay. That came up pretty well. Okay, quick sand. I'm taking a look. I'm pretty happy with how that's come out. I don't think I'm going to uh, do anything more in there. Okay, I think I'm going to make this one a bit rustic, so I'm going to rough up the edge there. I'm going to add some jags, maybe. A few little cuts. Rough up down here, a little bit at the top, and yeah, that's good. Okay, a little bit of jigsaw action. Doing the broken board effect, it's uh, just play with it, work around your words. All right, so I've taken a V chisel, I've taken the jigsaw, cut that bit out. I've used the angle grinder, gone around the edge. I've used the V chisel 
to extend my groove a little bit there. Perhaps. I think perhaps as a slight extra fat will do a little bit of a burn. Put some of the groups, keep it more. Little hints of burn. Please, if you ever use your torch. Okay, I'm in my spare room. I've just given this one coat of a um, interior exterior varnish. I'm going to do, because we are uh, very short notice and this has to be in today, I'm going to use some marsh spray ink. This stuff dries in, you know, just a couple of minutes and then I can sand it all off. But just going to go light. And the other little trick I will show you is when I do spray it, I take a bit of a cloth and just wipe off the excess, which will massively reduce the amount that I would need to uh, sand. Okay, I'm going to try a I'm going to try a slightly different paint effect in multiple colors. So I'm going to do the outside of the letters. Then I'm going to do a bit of orange. Then I'm going to do a bit of white. All right, hopefully if I haven't completely messed that up, it should look pretty good. All right, there's our two minute paint job. So I'll give that, you know, 20 minutes and send it off and that'll be it. Okay, I'll give that a quick sign now. Alright, quick uh, final thought to uh, hang it. I'm going to use my keyhole jig. Fine little bit, and there we are, and there we go. Quick, little short sign. I could have um, gotten some of that red off there on the side, but hey, happy Christmas to all of you.